So Sony have just launched a brand new range of speakers and if you're a Sony fan, you're gonna love this. The code name is ULT. And I'm told that ULT isn't actually an acronym for anything specific, but ultimately one thing is clear, these speakers focus on ultra bass. And I do have an interesting theory about the code name and I'll come back to that in a moment. So there are four brand new products in the ULT line. Let's kick this off with the big boy, the ULT Tower 10. This is a party speaker. It's roughly the size of a small fridge freezer. It is a powerhouse and because of that, it does run off the mains power with an AC power adapter. Ultimately, if you want to turn your party up to 11, the Alt Tower 10 has got you covered. There's four tweeters in total, two on the front, two on the back, two mid-range drivers towards the top of the speaker, and one giant X-Balance bass driver at the base of the speaker. So you get the idea, this thing has massive energy, just like me after three coffees in the morning. Now, I didn't get to play around with it much, but there's a couple of things that I noticed about this speaker, which I really like, the touch controls on the top, they're really cool, and also, this particular speaker does come with a proper premium microphone. So if you do decide to get this speaker, you can have some epic rap battles. Boom, Ooh. bam, oh. bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! And there's even a nice little mic holder on the side. There's also some nice 360 LED lights around the top and the bottom of the speaker. Now, in regards to sound, I did get to hear this in action and it really does focus on the deep bass, but you do get really good clarity from this speaker as well. But it really does specialize in the bass and it does have two ULT bass levels. Level one, which is deep bass, and then level two, which is attack bass which as you can imagine, if you do stand too close to the speaker, it does pack a punch. And after a while, you might start to feel like Captain America's punching bag. And here's a couple more things you should know about the Tower 10. You can get two of them and pair them up together in a stereo pair. And they also support Sony's Party Connect, which means hundreds of speakers can all connect together wirelessly. And there's also a TV sound booster mode where you can plug the Tower 10 into your TV and use it as a subwoofer for the TV. And it will also engage the tweeters on the back of the speaker. So this will amplify vocal range. So this could be fantastic for watching sporting events. So that could be pretty handy. And you can also plug in a guitar. All right, now here's the second ULT speaker from Sony. It's called the ULT Field 7. And this speaker has really been designed to carry around with you in the field or down the street. And if you get someone to carry it for you, you could dance down the street, Bully Maguire style. Anyway, in terms of hardware, you've got two X-Balance drivers, two mid-range drivers, and two passive radiators at either side. And once again, you have the two ULT power modes. So we've got the deep bass, and once again, we have the attack bass. And even with these switched off, it still sounds good, but when you want that extra power, it has got it. It's also got Sony sound field optimization software built in. And get this, it can use this microphones to measure the ambient sound around the speaker and adjust the EQ accordingly. It is IP67 rated, so that's waterproof, and it's rust proof. So this might suggest that this speaker could be left outdoors for longer periods of time than your regular party speaker. And it can also be used as a power bank for charging USB devices. And whilst there's no microphone bundled in with it like the Tower 10, it does have a microphone input. So once again, if you wanna show off your super lyrical skills, you can do that with the Field 7. Bam boom, uh, bada bam boom bop. Ooh, Ooh. shot boom. What? Bam, hold up, kablam! What? That's grenade. Ah! Oh! Wireless stereo connectivity is also possible here and also the party connect is also possible. For the stereo though, you do need two of the same speakers. It's got carry handles at the side and it can stand horizontally or vertically. And it's also got some ambient LED lights at either side. And Sony say the ULT7 has exceptional battery life up to 30 hours. In terms of size, it's pretty large. It's kind of like a modern day boom box. Yes, you could walk around with it on your shoulder like one of those boom boxes from the 80s. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got to boogie. Okay, now the smallest of the new Sony ULT line. It is the Field One. It's a portable speaker designed to be thrown in a bag and carried around on a daily basis. 
And because of that, it does have IP67 waterproof rating, but it's also shockproof. It comes with a rope like tether on it as well, so you can carry it around more easily or hang it from a branch or something. The ULT1 has impressive battery life up to 12 hours, they say, and 10 minutes charge can give you up to three hours playback. Stereo pairing is possible and party connect. And there's some really nice color options on the ULT1. You get the regular black and white, but there's a new color the forest gray which is my favorite and there is one more which is incredibly vibrant and when you see it, it will probably catch your attention like a slap in the face Why yes Tony, let's look again yes it is orange and it will capture your attention even more once you enable the ult sound mode which this does have unlike the other two speakers it's only got one ult mode which enhances the bass and i do believe it will be more than enough bass for most people. There are voice mics on board as well, so you can use it for answering calls. And it also supports fast pair, so you can quickly switch between your different Bluetooth devices if needed. This could be a fantastic holiday speaker, but also a very good speaker for day-to-day -day use. All right, now my favorite of the new Sony ULT line. It is the ULT Wear, and these seem to be modeled on the WH-1000 XM4 line, and they do share a lot of the same technologies. But in some areas, the ULT Wear might actually be a little bit better. <laughs> Serious? And you'll see what that is in a moment. Design-wise, they're very similar to the XM5s, and they are available in my new favorite color of the Sony products, the Forest Gray. They're also available in white and black. My first impressions when trying them on were they are surprisingly light, which is a good thing if you're gonna use them every single day or for longer listening sessions. And don't let the lightweight nature of these headphones fool you because these are heavyweights when it comes to bass. And that's really what these headphones are all about, power and bass. And you'll notice on the back of the ear cup is a ULT button. And this is what you use when you want to send all power to the rear thrusters and engage the ultimate bass. Engage. Now on top of the incredible bass that these headphones have, they do also have excellent noise cancelling and that's because they use the same integrated V1 chip as the XM5s. But with that said, if noise cancelling is the priority for you, the XM5s are still gonna be a little bit better because they actually have two ANC chips and more noise cancelling mics for like adaptive ANC and things like that. But if you prioritize bass, then the Altwear will be the headphones for you and they also have amazing battery. On one charge, they can last up to 50 hours. 50? And that's with ANC off. With ANC on, they can last up to 30 hours. And let's not forget, these can be wired into an audio device, which means you could listen until the end of time passively if you really wanted to. Now, here are a couple of things I like about the Sony Alt where in comparison to the XM5s, the ear cups can actually now fold entirely flat against your chest when you're not wearing them on your head. Something else I like about these headphones is the way they collapse down like the XM4s used to into this smaller footprint. And a lot of people did prefer the case on the XM4s, so they've kind of gone back to that older style. And the sound quality is very close, but these of course have that added bass, which if you're a fan of that kind of thing, you'll prefer. Anyway, here's my theory on that code name. Did you know that Sony's brand name actually originates from a Latin word? So with that in mind, the root of the word ULT in Latin means beyond. Or well, maybe it just stands for ultra or ultimate. And I do believe that this new ULT line from Sony replaces the old extra bass line that we used to see. Now across all of the new ULT products, you probably noticed the color shifting branding on all of them. This is known as a dichroic effect and it's definitely eye catching, but the reality is it's the heavy bass that will hit you in the face and truly surprise you. Why yes, Tony, let's look again. So listen here, these Sony ULT products are for music lovers and really tailored for music lovers who love bass. And this makes them perfect for hip hop and other bass heavy types of music. But if you're more about music in its purest form and you prioritize accuracy in your audio, Sony does have some lesser known new headphones that actually sound even better than the legendary XM5s, but with a few compromises. If you want to check those out, there's a thumbnail on the screen right now. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.